Greetings, YouTube. Welcome to Season 3 of Overwatch 2. I'm live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash Karku. Uh, there's going to be Ash Drops, a socialite Ash uh, skin, along with the Seven of Spades, I think, spray, available for the next two weeks if you come on over to Twitch. I'll be here live all week in the next two weeks, actually, for you to acquire those drops. Today, we're going to go over the Season 3 Battle Pass, show you all the rewards, and show you the shop later. Season 3, what do we have here? Well, if you buy the Premium Battle Pass, by the way, I'm not paid by Blizzard. This is no corporal show. I'm just showing you what you get if you decide to buy it. Don't buy it if it doesn't make any sense to you. You don't care about monetization and buying skins and cosmetics. Just play the game. It's free. If you want to play it, and if you don't, I don't actually care if you don't or not. Just so people go like, you're, you're sold, you're bought by Blizzard. Nah, I don't actually give a shit if you spend money or not. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay. <laughs> if you buy the premium battle pass, you'll get a 20% XP boost. And then you get the black metal Junker Queen legendary skin. God damn. This reminds me of playing Guitar Hero 3 in 2007. Once again, it's one of the few people you can pick. Got that... That mime paint going on like a rock star. That is what her weapon. Oh, it's a guitar. Her axe is a guitar. Goth mommy. We'll have a fun little rating system in chat. All right, chat. Rate the skin out of 10. Go. Give me a number. And then I'll give you my number. Yep. All the chat down here giving me a number. I'm going to give this an eight. This is a decent Junker Queen skin. I think most people who played season two are going to rock the mythic for a while, though. Just saying. The next legendary skin is the Chasa. Reaper. Got the, is that a lo lotus flower? What does Chasa mean? Uh, by the way, the theme for season three is Asian mythology. Or I, I'd say East Asian mythology. I think saying complete Asian mythology might be incorrect because obviously Asia is a ginormous continent. This feels very East Asian to me. This one's like a... This is like a seven to me. It doesn't really like make me go, whoa. Oh, it's kind of cool though, actually. I like the smaller details. Chat, what do you think? Eight, nines, lots of eights. Looks pretty cool. Anyways, that's what you get the moment you buy the premium battle pass. Okay, at level two, you get credits. That's right, Overwatch credits are returning to the battle pass. So if you have Overwatch credits, you can actually buy stuff in the hero gallery once again. They've listened to you. They're giving you credits back so you can just buy whatever you want. They're getting rid of the legacy credits, if I'm not mistaken, and they're calling it Overwatch credits once again. And you also get the, the sausage with the hands up because we all know you love sausage in the chat. We don't need, you guys don't need to rate what the credit means. Why are you saying 10 out of 10? <laughs> okay, voice line. Let's listen to it again. My beard is older than you are. That is true. He has more beard on his face than I've grown my entire life. My beard is older than you are. Oh, they are legacy credits? They just stopped saying legacy? Oh, okay, my mistake. Maybe they are Overwatch credits, similar to legacy credits. But I think they, you are able to buy, I mean, have you always been able to buy everything in the hero gallery? To be fair, I'm actually not sure how it fully, fully works, but we'll get into that after. Next thing is we have a Kiriko highlight intro. Wait, that's it? Oh, a Chasa is a person who never comes back except for several nudges. That I didn't know. Ah, uh, this is like a three. I'm not feeling this highlight intro. I'm not equipping this. It looks cool though, but I, I, I'm not feeling this one. This is a pretty boring highlight intro. I probably will not equip that. All good. Level five is going to be uh, credits once again. And the exotic Exco ex excogitator. I honestly don't even know what this means. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a new word in my vocabulary. Oh, a thinker. Cogitate means to think. That is the two rewards for level five. Level six is going to be the Chasa again. It's a spray this time of the Chasa Reaper. Level seven, black metal banner or whatever you call this. What do you? This is the name card. Excuse me. I call it a banner. Name card. Pretty cool. Level eight, we have an emote. Constellations. Wait, that's pretty dope. That's a cool emote. That's a, this is an eight. Why is he really small in this? I don't know. Junker Queen voice line. Doesn't seem like a spammable voice line. It is what it is. Meh. Level 10, Baptiste. Purple skin, it's an epic skin, not a legendary. Very royal colors with the red and the gold. Very royal Asian Chinese colors. I would say. Decent skin. I prefer most of Baptiste legendary skins, but this is like a five or a six. Yeah, I agree. Nothing too fancy. It doesn't allow me to look at the other parts of his kit, but eh, it's okay. Okay, we got level 11 of the battle pass. We have the Chasha, uh, the Chasha again, but the player icon. This one is the wooden frog souvenir. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know a single person that uses souvenirs, so 
it's cool. They have to fix the way they demonstrate souvenirs in game, I think. It's cute though. Uh, next one is you get credits again on the level 13 of the battle pass and you get the sausage who's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a little silly with it. A victory pose for Mercy, triage, triage Mercy. She's got the clipboard. She's looking for the patient, Andrew Garfield, you know, about to call someone's name who's like waiting in triage to, to get called up at the walk-in clinic. Ah, uh, yes. Next one, more credits again, and you get a new name card, which is Strawberry Shortcake. One, that's one of my favorite cakes, so I dig it. This is kind of cute. Imagine equipping this and, uh, you know, you can see it over there. This one's decent. The next thing we have is the handprint. The handprint at level 16. Decent. Okay, a weapon charm, charm, this penguin. Okay, this is cute as shit. This is really, really cute. People are for sure equipping this one. What reason, have you to fear me? what reason do you have to fear me? I'm gonna turn down the music right now. Turn up the rest of it so you can hear the damn voice lines. Okay, what reason do you have to fear? What reason have you to fear me? That's a little better. Premium, uh, level 19 is credits and the black metal uh, name card. And then we have our first legendary available, the Invisible Man Cassidy. Now, his hat is not part of his hitbox. If you can see through him, this is a pay to win skin because your head is going to be harder for people to shoot. If you're a Cassidy player, you should definitely equip this one. You can't see their damn head when you're trying to headshot them. If you're a Widowmaker, it just, I don't know. Ain't no way. That What they should do instead of like fully invisible is just make it like the transparency. Like, you know when you look through like, um, you know when you blow bubbles and it's like all this distorted see-through invisible? Like a little bit of a distortion will make it a bit more distinguishable. Like Halo invisible. This is gonna be crazy. This is uh, definitely a pay to win skin. Or you just shoot the cigar. You know, if you see a Cassie like this, you see the cigar. No, if you shoot the cigar, it's not part of the hitbox. Skins are always banned in tournaments anyways, but uh, yeah. I mean, he technically would still have the red outline of the enemy. That's true, that's true. We'll have to see how this looks in game, but yeah. <laughs> what a skin. My gosh, two, he's got three buffs. You can roll through people in this patch, lower fall off range, and this skin is pay to win. Level 21, victory pose, rocker, junker queen. Very nice. Collection type, more uh, credits. And we have some flowers, adorno, a common spray. Cool. May highlight intro. That's kind of cute. This is one of the better highlight intros. Invisible man. Uh, we got the, uh, what is this? This is the player icon. That's okay. We got more credits at 25 and we have a Reinhardt victory pose. What is he doing? I think he's just flexing his arm like this. Victorious, like he's a victorious. Yes, yeah, he's victorious. So he's just, you know, hurrah, we won. Okay, we've got our Shinwi. We have the, you know, the candle, the the incense. This is a souvenir. Very cool. Then we've got the woodcraft. Woodcraft patterns. Nice, nice. Got junk rats. I've always had a gift for fire. That's pretty good. This is. I really like the voice act for Junkrat. Well done. Another weapon charm, the Chasha, Chasa hat. I think the people are gonna equip the penguin. This one's kind of eh. And we have a Sombra epic skin. How do I say this? Folklo Folklorica? Folklorica or Folklorisa? This is cool. I really like the patterns here. Wow. Very, very pretty, for especially for an epic skin. It's uh, Folklorica. It's a hard K. Demon Queen. Moira spray, that's pretty dope. This is like those uh, those things on the wall, those those old old style art. Very cool. We have uh, more credits at 32, and now we have a rare name card, another Folklorica, uh, lots of flowers. Very cool. Who'd have thought that strontium and barium, oh, properly oxidized, could make the night sky so beautiful? That's a cool voice line. Who'd have thought that strontium and barium, oh, properly oxidized? could make the night sky so beautiful. What I would do is when I grade voice lines, I look for the first words or two to see if it's spammable. You know how Doomfist go, and they say, and they say. So this one's like, or oh yeah. Uh, metal guitar souvenir is level 34, okay. Level 35 is gonna be credits and Symmetra victory pose. This is pretty cool. Four Leaf Clover? Just kidding, it's not Four Leaf Clover. Ba Jiao Shan. 
Ba Jiao Shan. Isn't that like a, the leaf thingy to like fan people, I think? That's pretty dope. We also have more credits, of course. And we have a Pachimari, a Pachiduri, excuse me. Oh, a durian, Pachiduri. Wait, it's a durian. <laughs> oh, it's a hairpin? Oh, actually, I thought it was a fan. But no, this is a durian Pachimari. That's cute. That's cute. Next. Who wants to be immortal? Who wants to be immortal? Hide and seek a moat from Bastion. Oh, he's hiding his head. So emotes in Overwatch are true to their hitbox and hero model when they manipulate their skeleton and bones. So there's there's clips on Reddit where people use an emote and they dodge stuff. I seen someone do a push up emote, a soldier, and he ducks down and he whiffs a headshot. So this would hide his hitbox, technically. This hides his hitbox, but you can't cancel it instantly. So if you pop this emote, you're gonna sit still. You're still probably gonna get shot. You won't get hit in the head, but you can't move, so. It would be such a fun play if you're a Widowmaker, you try to shoot the Bastion, he does this emote right in front of you. <laughs> okay, and we have a legendary skin at level 40, the Demon Queen Moira. This one is actually pretty cool. I give this a an eight. This is dope. Look at that. The eyes have uh, physics, jiggle physics, and she's barefoot, but we can't see that. Oh, we can. Oh my god! Look at those grippers. This is uh this is now a nine out of ten for me. Okay, level forty one. Halfway through. Sorry, we're taking so long. We got another weapon charm. We've got a skull and wings, like a little bat. Cool. More credits and a demon queen dance spray. Cool. We have a Demon Queen player icon. Kiriko voice line. I'm obviously the most precious. Mid. More credits at 45. And then we have the Rikimaru. What is this? Instant ramen. This is a souvenir. Souvenir, which is another type of emote. And we have the Folklorica uh, player icon at 46. 47 is going to be the Demon Queen mask spray. 48, we have the Galactic player icon for Ramatra. No, that's Sigma, excuse me. And then we have the Justice Reloaded emote where we stick more ammo in Farah's barrage or her rocket. And we have Tactical. This is a epic skin for Zarya. Gray hair. Is that a tatted arm? This is like a five. It's meh. How do I view it fully? The gun looks pretty cool though. Decent only. All right, level 51. We're trying to rapid fire through these now. Hong Higher. Hong higher, uh, this is for Junkrat skin, we'll get to in a second, at level 51. We've got our credits, we've got the Folklorica spray. Genji, victory pose, whenever you finish the game and win, he's just paying respects. Okay, this is in Chinese, clearly. Uh, she's probably saying move mountains. I don't speak Mandarin, but that's what I assume that she's saying. We can move mountains, cool. We have, at level 55, we have uh, credits and a cute little charm, the Lucky Cat. Home at every Chinese restaurant, Vietnamese restaurant you can think of for lucky business, good business, good fortune. I had one of these growing up too. I think I had one in my house. Okay, and the next name card is gonna be the I, I Nexting Guai Shu. Inextinguishable, Jesus Christ, I can't read. <laughs> I saw I next, and once I, ch my, my brain ch chunked the word like this first, I next, and then it tried to like, yeah, okay, whatever. Next. Spray, Invisible Man. We have um, a 50 set, level 57, we have an Invisible Man spray. We have more credits at 58, and... She's browsing, hacking the mainframe. Then we have Ash. Divine. I'm feeling divine. That's a cool voice line. And I'm at level 60, divine. we've got this Junkrat's uh, skin, Hong Hire. This is actually pretty dope, I will say. The man bun, orange hair, orange themes, great rip tire, wooden stick, wooden foot. He looks extra unhinged. He looks like he's really about to blow shit up. Level 61, victory pose cannon up, just looking good. Next. Lure me out, I dare you. Lure me out, I dare you, mid. We've got the Demon Queen Mask Weapon Charm. Ooh, Woodblock Fox Spray. I love this kind of like Asian, uh, this kind of art style. This is a really popular tattoo style too. I looked at a lot of tattoo, when I was getting all my tattoos and stuff back in the day, I used to look at all this kind of art. Like, always wanted this. We have more credits, and then we have the Mari and Friends, Pachamari and Lil Sausage Boy. 
a fond reality. I can understand Japanese. I'm totally not reading it from here. Next, a highlight intro. Wait, that's actually cool. They needed this for a long time because Orisa still had old uh, highlight intros from Overwatch 1 where she would like halt people together. Very relevant to modern Orisa. Cool. We have a spray for Zarya. We have more credits. We have a Bob and Ash. What is this? Victory pose when you finish the game. You'll have a little victory pose right at the end. Very, very cool. Looking tough. And a legendary or an epic skin, excuse me, at level 70. Galactic Space Pants. Sigma. Does anybody here own space pants? Honest to God. Any of you guys have like these kind of tight leggings? <laughs> you do? <laughs> no? <laughs> Admit it. The pattern doesn't move with the model. It looks like it's pretty stable, yeah. But this is an epic skin. It looks like a legendary, I'm gonna be honest with you. We got ourselves the divine kunai player icon. Rock on, Junk Queen. Nope. More credits at 73. More uh, black metal Junker Queen. More credits at 75. 100 credits to be fair. Then we have uh, Omamori Epic Weapon Charm. Widowmaker. Sometimes it's six shots, one kill. That's me. Tag yourself. It's me. Six shots, one kill. Actually, I have more six shots, no kills. I skipped 74. My my mistake. Uh, this is the Amaterasu name card. Sorry, I say Amaterasu like that because of Sasuke. We've got ourselves more souvenirs that no one's really going to use. Credits. Uh, Junkrat spray. Highlight intro. Ooh, scrapped. That's all the scrap metal in his gun. All the junk scrap. Boom pretty cool. And the final thing of the battle pass, Amaterasu Mythic Skin of Kiriko. You also get the woodblock Amaterasu spray and the Amaterasu player icon. If we want to check out her stuff, that is what the Suzu looks like. That is her kunai and that is her healing Ofuda. However, you can change them. Ooh, weapon. So this is weapon one. Weapon two. I think I feel two. I kind of like the circle. Okay, crown. One. Two. Three. Oh, is those serpents, snakes? This is a sun. This is the moon. Two for the moon. And then three for serpents. I think I dig the moon actually. Okay, hair. One. Take a look at it. Cut like this. Lots of volume. One, two, oh. Three. Ooh, what the frick? I think I'd, I think I'd rock default to be honest with you. I like voluminous hair like this. I'm picking one. All right, and finally we have the color scheme. One, two, oh. White and blue, a little purple, three. Oh, wait, this is one where all three of them look good. I feel like I could do all of them. I like them all, to be honest with you. Look at my kunais too, my God. Okay, if I do this with the wolf hair, oh my God, I'm on theme. Wait, I just realized um, my, my Ofuda's changed. Remember when we were picking the, uh, the weapons, the kunais? It actually changes the healing Ofuda papers too. <gasps> this is the default papers. This is the new papers with number two. Damn, wow, they are. Wait, this is a really, really cool skin. Does the Suzu change too? Okay. Okay, the color of the Ofuda changes as well. Oh, the color, your kunai is also yellow on yellow. Oh, that's because I have the golden weapon, excuse me. This is the white trim on this, and this is the purple trim as well. And then your Ofudas, do they change? No, they don't. The new titles, I didn't get Titan. It's Peasant, Trickster, Disciple, Noble, Scholar, Sage, Fearsome Spirit, and Legendary Beast. Peasants! It's made for me. <laughs> I'm down. I'm gonna be a peasant instantly. Let's go. Um, is that it for the battle pass? I think it is for the battle pass. Let's check the shop really quick. Have they updated the shop? Yes, the first thing in the shop we're gonna see is obviously the premium battle pass. 
we have the ultimate bundle if you do buy the battle pass you can buy 20 skips 2000 coins and get the beekeeper sigma whoa bzz, bzz, bzz. this is if you want to spend money in this game he's got literally like a full suit on onesie god damn more bees be yourself Honey Bee Mercy. Oh, Mercy Mains. Wait, this is a really nice tone of yellow and orange. I'm not gonna lie. And then you get a cute little weapon charm too. That's pretty cute. Uh, the staff. Very cute. Cute weapon too. 12.99 CAD. Oh, it's an epic skin. Wait, this is old. This is a purple skin. This looks pretty good for a purple skin. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, Takoyaki Zenyatta. Takoyaki. I kind of want some Takoyaki now. Oof. Delicious. Taco. Octopus handing you some hot takoyaki. We got a spray the Irash Irashimasu. It's not Itadakimas. Irashimas. Irashimas. Is that how you say it? I'm just guessing. Ah, and then we got the taco. Taco player icon. Not taco, but taco. Irashimas. Oh, is what they say when they say welcome to the shop. That's right. My fault. My fault. Welcome, welcome. And the hero pack, if you guys are new to Overwatch, you can just buy all the previous season heroes and get a thousand coins, which is enough for the battle pass for 26 Canadian dollars, probably about 20 bucks. And then we got monkey business in the shop as well and taking a call. Oh, it doesn't reset. <laughs> Wait, it's you, you just sit on the phone the whole time. Wait, this is actually kind of cute. All right, I'm not really much of a Winston player, so I won't buy that, but all good. Seasonal. Uh, oh, you can buy the battle pass with all these, with these packages. Ramacha starter kit. These are always there, the starter packs. And then you got the Overwatch League skins back in the shop. You've got uh, this one, Ange de la Mort. The, the Boxer May. May, we got, yeah, the San Francisco. In, right the shock skin uh the 2021 legendary legends bundle pirate ship and aroeris anna and i think that is everything in terms of cosmetics if you're interested in that is my overview that took a long ass time wow